Okay, everyone. Um, so today is going to be like a tutorial because some people, like a few people, have um, asked me like, how do I get modded Beat Saber for some? Because most some of my videos have them, and some of my friends asked to play Beat Saber, but you can't because I'm playing mod modded. But anyway, so today I'm going to show you how to do that. Just that. So, just for me. So I've just reinstalled the actual version of Beat Saber so everything will be straight away as you would be in right now so what you want to do first so you want to get your browser just want to search mods by Friday yeah whatever so it will say github pages mods before Friday yeah whatever whatever they say so it will bring you to this page so it will say connect so I would say connect your quest so USB C cable if you don't know what that is so it's just one of these it's just one of those it's what you use to charge your headset anyway if you want to get a link cable I do have a good one for PC VR anyway but you're not here for that so so what you want to do is obviously connect the quest so what you want to do is get your USB-C cable if or a link cable if you got one so just plug it into your PC or laptop they will work on either one okay so now my PC has now detected it so what you want to do is connect you want to click connect to quest so it will come up with the side thing anyway it would say like quest two or something, whatever whatever happens. So you just want to click connect. So now there'll be now a pop up on your headset. So what you want to do is just put your headset on, and there will be a massive pop up in front of you. It would just say allow USB debugging. Just click allow, and then you're fine. So now, what are you doing? So I'm just going to check my game's reinstalled here. Okay, so it has. So what you want to do now is just, just click mod the app. So it's just going to go through this thing. It can take like 5 to 10 minutes maybe. Probably less than that. I don't know. So this bit may get a little bit boring. So just wait a bit. So... I'll just cut this bit out until it's done. Okay, so mine's almost done. Right. Okay, so mine is almost done, so... So it's just going to go through this. So this is just basically downloading it. So now it's just going to put it onto the headset. so song load and stuff like that so they'll have like in game stuff okay so now but on this bit you can just look through whatever you want you can just get some of this stuff if you want so I'm gonna get like these custom whackers and the custom blocks just so it looks a bit different just so see so scroll down until you see noodle extensions I didn't realize it was on here so just click install and then it will just do all this stuff so you don't have to go on any external sites if you don't want to if you want to make your life more challenging you can but I do not recommend it at all because it's quite hard to find the real one so you just wanna scroll up until you see so so chroma and just click install on chroma as well so see it's successfully downloaded so so now if you click on your mods it should say all like all this stuff really so now so, so now you just want to launch Beat Saber if it says anything like restore game click cancel but I don't think it will for this because it's just one of those injectors so you're just going to click continue like a normal game so now it should load if everything's done right
So yeah, song loaded. Now you've got mods. So I forgot to mention this previously. If not, if some of this doesn't work, you want to go into your settings. You want to go click on the me settings, and then you want to go down all the way down to advanced. Then you want to see if there's developer mode here. If you do not see it there, you will have to download the MetaLink software, which I'll link in the description. So then you just want to enable that. But if it is here, just enable custom settings and turn all of them on, except for like some of these, because I'm gonna have to turn that off as well. So now you just wanna so chroma, all this is here. So song downloader, you've got all this stuff. So there's gonna be a little bar with custom levels, and then you could just look through all of like the custom songs you got. I cannot remember the last time I played these custom songs, but see, like map, the mapping extension, I forgot to do that. So when you do that as well, so look for mapping extensions, just so you can play practically every level. Well, every song. Uh, you got all the song, so just remember that you can get all this, but then you have to go on like, you can join Discord servers to put them on, but you have to do that on your own because I'm not going to go through that, it takes a bit. So, that's practically it guys. Um, if something didn't work for you, just comment, and then this will be it for the t one of my first tutorials I've ever done on this channel. So, have a good day guys, and I hope this worked.